Hey, what's up, guys? Matt Modai with Odds Jam, and what we're going to do here is just take a last-minute baseball bet before the uh, MLB betting slate, before all the games start. Uh, I only had two today, which because, you know, the, the, there aren't that many games, and the odds just kind of weren't in my favor the two times I was recording. So I uh, figured it would only be nice if I did another one, got another baseball bet out here. One of my bets did settle, was unfortunately an L. That makes two in a row yes-run first-inning plays that haven't hit. Um, I had, you know, it's kind of interesting when I originally started betting baseball, I had success. And then I went through a really, really rough patch specifically with yes, run first inning bets where I would take a bunch and then hope that, you know, maybe half, if not a little bit over half would hit and I would go like one in five or two and five or one in six. It was really bad. So I went totally cold Turkey. And then recently, like within the past 10 days or so, um, I've been taking them intermittently, just ones that I do a little bit more research into actually do some handicapping, which I normally don't do a ton of handicapping. I just follow the math on Odds Jam. But that makes two L's in a row, so I might go back, but I don't know. We'll have to see. Regardless, I still have one play uh, pending Aaron Nola under strikeouts. Um, luckily, I'm still up with my new strategy and still at about 5% ROI, which is great. Unfortunately, my net profit is back to a loss after losing this four-unit play. But as I, as I suspected, my net expected profit is pretty close to my actual profit as it kind of happens over time. So that's what happens with these swings. You start low, you go high, and that's just kind of how sports betting goes. Uh, but anyways, uh, so what I have here today, I only have one bet. And what I'm looking at here is the under three and a half first half total runs in the Phillies versus Braves game. So I know I'm fading uh, the strikeouts for Aaron Nola, but I actually do really, really like this under three and a half first half total runs. Uh, so the odds jam line prices it at plus 130. The no big odds have it at plus 138. And to confirm, the no big odds are important to go off of, of kind of the source of truth in terms of what, excuse me, uh, the true line should be priced at. Um, so that has it at plus 137. So the odds that we are betting it at on FanDuel at plus 146. So that gap is what has positive expected value. In this case, the profit margin of roughly 3.52%. So let me just add that here to the percent that I will refer back to later. Uh, so it checks all the ball, all the boxes there. Uh, the last one is the market width, which is at 19 cents. So anything that is below, that is 25 or below is within range. So this one being at 19 is perfect. So it fits all the parameters of my betting strategy so far. 25 or below, check. Above 3% EV, check. So now what I do is open it up in a new tab. You can literally right click, open link in a new tab, which I did here. And now let's just compare to what all the sports books have pricing for. So in this case, uh, there's only one other book that has odds for the under three and a half, but look at the value here. It BetMGM has it at plus 130. Oddsjam has it at plus 130. Uh, so the in terms of just those three books, the 146 on Fandle is a pretty big outlier. Uh, and that's kind of what I like to do with these situations is bet on outliers such as this, where you're hoping to find some sort of mispriced odds, which is exactly what I think is happening here. So this plus 146 on Fandle is a pretty good outlier. Um, and then, like I said, I don't do a ton of handicapping, but I do like to look into the pitching matchup. Uh, so Ian Anderson, not a great pitcher for the Braves. Uh, but the Phillies have really been scuffling um, recently with Bryce Harper out. So Bryce Harper, unfortunately, broke his thumb, uh, just had surgery actually either yesterday or the day before. And the Phillies offense, if you just look at them recently against the Braves, three runs, one run, decent against the Padres, eight runs, but then like four shut out. So they've really been struggling. I think Bryce got hurt, I believe, after this game this game. I can't remember exactly, but regardless, they've really been scuffling and the Braves just have the Phillies number. They just have the Phillies number. So the Phillies have their ace on the mound in Aaron Nola, who's an absolute monster. I know I faded his strikeouts, but he's their best pitcher and the Phillies offense is scuffling. So the bad pitcher on the Braves doesn't really scare me that much. So this first half under three and a half, I think is a pretty good bet for the little bit of handicapping that I do just as I'm placing these positive expected value bets. So this one fits everything. It checks off all the boxes. So in terms of unit sizing, I just go off of this calculator, which has it as a 60% bet, or excuse me, $60 bet, not 60%. 60% would be insane. Uh, it's about a 2.5% of your bank will rate, wager if you are tailing this, uh, which I recommend you do. Um, and so yeah, that we're good to go. So I'll go ahead and add this to my uh, place here. So it's Phillies, Braves, under first half. This is today. I'll just drag that down. So it's a $60 bet 
at plus 154 odds. Uh, and the reason why I put the percent here is to calculate this number, the net expected profit. Uh, and all you need to do once you have your unit size is literally just multiply your, your unit size, your wager size, by the expected value percent to get the actual dollar value of this. And it has this one at roughly $2.11. So again, not breaking the bank here with the quote unquote mathematical profit margin. But over time, you, you will see uh, your expected profit start to equal your net profit, which is kind of already happening in a 10 day span. So there's gonna be more swings, of course, that's how sports betting works. But um, but yeah, so I'm glad that my new strategy is still profitable even with losing this uh, $105 play. And we'll see how we go from here. So now let me just add this to my actual odds jam bet tracker. Uh, this was a $60 play. Bet tracker is completely free to use. Would definitely recommend checking it out. And that's all I got for you. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you are tailing, let me know. Hit me up at my Twitter handle, Modi underscore Matt, which is uh, on the uh, just popped up on the screen here. Comment on the video. Let me know your feedback that way. Other than that, remember the goods. Like, share with your friends, subscribe, all that good stuff. But that's all I got for you. So I appreciate you guys watching and have a good one.